Welcome back to Dubsy Bricks for another Gotham City update. In the last update, I worked on the raised platform area and made a start on the subway station. Now, I still need to find out some more bricks to finish the subway station or get more work done on it, should I say. So for the time being, I'm going to be turning my attention to something else. Now, there's a good chance tomorrow I'll be going to Dublin. And if I do, it means I can go to the Lego store and get some much needed parts. And the parts I'm looking at are filler plate. Be really nice to get all of the mills plates all completed across the entire city. And now that I've mapped the roads out, I can actually do each of the mills plates correctly, and then I'll know how much more plates I need to get. Another thing it'll be good to do is get some black plate and dark blue plate to go along the front here for the C, but also see if I can get some trans blue tiles. Now this section down here is using the light blue. Uh, the light trans blue colour. They're all two by one tiles. However, on the pick brick wall, they no longer appear to be selling those. They are doing the four by one and the dark uh, trans blue. So um, I'm going to experiment a little bit with the dark trans blue tiles. Today, I have got a handful of them and just make sure that I am happy with that colour. If not, I would just plate it off and then source them at a later stage. Anyway, without further ado, let's get the meals plates over to my table and let's get started. And I've made the start on the waterfront section just here, and this wall will, wall will change further down the line. I'm going to make it a lot more detailed, um, a lot more interest to that. And as you can see, the pavement is just a little bit lower down there. First of all, I'm not sure whether four studs is wide enough for a pavement. I was shrinking the roads and the pavements to make it look a little bit bigger. However, if there's a lamppost on there, it's almost going to be taking up half the pavement. So I am thinking may possibly need to extend that but one thing i am wondering about doing is actually making the channel of water that cuts this section off here a lot bigger so i'm considering having it to go diagonally across there uh, towards the corner of the race platform area just to give me a probably another almost two base plates worth of building that I can do on that side. This structure is not going to be here, but I was just wondering whether or not I would be able to fit some sort of rundown area like the narrows in this section. Not sure whether it's going to work or not, but it's certainly worth uh, considering. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a think about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to turn my attention to the other end of the city. I was able to get to the Lego store yesterday. So I have managed to pick up some more of the 4x4 light bluish grey plates. So that's going to come in really handy. And with the road here, all I would do is just remove this road here. And this one here will probably go diagonally across. So there's lots I can do with it um, to, to keep the detail and the interest in the city. But anyway, let's carry on with the mills plates and I'll check back in a little bit later. And very close to getting all of the mills plates finished in Gotham City, ready to be tiled and disaster struck. Trying to get the flat iron S building off of this structure here. It just got caught. There was something attached that I wasn't expecting to. And yeah, we've had a little bit of a disaster here. And it's, well, as you can see, it's in pieces. It won't take too much to get it back together, but it's really frustrating that yet another building has crumbled. But at least that section survived. Anyway, let's carry on removing this section from here and let's get that final mills plate all sorted out. And we have made a lot of progress, along with a lot of mess as well, once again. But it won't take long to clear that up. The flat iron S building, I'll need to put that in a box so that I can rebuild that. And when I'm rebuilding it, I will do all the other work that needs to be done on the building, as I never got around to finishing it the first time around. Now, all of the walls on the waterfront here, they are just purely a dark bluish grey brick at the bottom and then two masonry bricks above. And then plated off with a light bluish grey ready to be tiled on top. And all of these walls will be replaced uh, later on uh, with more, a lot more detail, different styles and things like that. But I wanted to get a better idea of how it's going to be looking. Is it the right shape? Am I going down the right track and things like that? So it was better just to use this basic technique to start with, just so I know that I am going right. And whilst doing all of this, I have amended a couple of things like the positioning of rows. They've changed the back of the GCPD. I've changed that quite a bit as well. You can't see it at the moment because it's covered by the destruction of the flat iron building. There's a lot of things that have a change. And one of the other things that's changed is this area just down here, the docks or the behind the docks area. Originally, this pool of water that was going through here was back here. However, I wanted an extra base plate of 32-32 width on that section. 
Now this building here, that's going to be destroyed. That's going to be gone. And what I need to then do is work out what's going where down here. Where am I going to be putting Ace Chemicals? I'm thinking about moving the uh, Falcone Warehouse down more towards Arkham Asylum. The channel of water that goes there is going to go down to down the side of the race platform area. And then I've just got to decide whether or not I am going to be having a bat train or a railway line going under Arkham Asylum for the bat train. Now, the other thing as well, I've got the road that's coming in over here. That needs to go to the Falcone Warehouse and Ace Chemicals. But that's the only part of that that I want the uh, road to go to. I need to fit in the Joker's Fun House, but I would also like to put some form of uh, structure in it that looks a little bit like the Narrows from Batman Begins. I think that, that will look pretty cool over here. And I want to get that whole vibe that you get from Batman Begins on this side if I can. Now, I will, in the meantime, be looking at other like, source materials, looking at some graphic novels and whatnot, and just see... Uh, if there are any other designs that I think will look good but trying to work out this area is going to take a lot of working out because it's not a massive area it's probably only on six six to eight of the large grey base plates depending on which parts you're looking at or including and obviously I want to fit a roller coaster in around the fun house as well uh, it's not gonna be a massive one but it's just I want to have some sort of a roller coaster on there now, one thing I also need to do is amend this corner just here. Need to have it so the water continues down. So these are all things I'm going to be concentrating on next. So what I'm going to need to do now is remove all of the buildings that are just floating around on the surface here. Carry on with the mills plates and the road sections. And I'll try and work out what buildings we're going to put where. And it's decision time on the waterfront here. And I was just about to start work on this section just here. And I'd peeled this base plate off ready to do the wall along there and I just struggling to work out where the best place is to put ace chemicals now I've got a vision of the sort of building that I want to put in this section and it's going to be going at a strange angle as well hopefully again just trying to get away from having a grid like city now I could put ace chemicals on the corner here so it's on two waterfront sides and that would just about work I might need to move this up by a few studs, maybe 16 studs or so, just so that it can all fit on there and I can have water along this edge. The other option is I put Ace Chemicals where I've placed it at the moment. I would raise it up slightly and what I would also do is bring it this way on the base plate. So this part of the structure here, I would put up here. That building there would go down to this end here. So that might work as well. And then I've got plenty of room for the water to go around. The one problem if I do that is where do I put the Joker Fun House and the roller coaster? Uh, I could put it on this corner here. That might like might look quite cool when you first come in. However, my vision is that the you come into the front of the Fun House, you see like a Joker's face or something like that. And that would be around that side. So you're not really going to get the full effect of it. Unless I put the face on this side here. So you see the side of the building, the roller coaster coming out the front. And then when you walk around, you could see it. So that could work. So, and it might be nice to have that pop of colour when you first walk into the, the Lego room and see the roller coaster. And also the roller coaster would then also be going over two parts of water as well. So but anyway, I'm going to have, carry on thinking about it. And then once I've made the decision on there, we'll make the necessary changes to the, the, uh, the, the base plates here. And I'll check back in and show you what we decided. And it's been a smooth job so far, putting the Ace Chemical Plant on a higher base plate. I just led the building on its back, peeled the base plate off, added a couple more bricks all the way around, and then repositioned it back onto the base plate. Now, I do want to make a couple more amendments to this building before I finish it. One of them is the side just here. This wall is going to be up against the rock work which is going to have Arkham Asylum on the top of it. So this isn't really going to work where it is at the moment. I'm only anticipating having about four studs off the clear at the side of this build here. So what I want to do is remove this section just here and put it so there's an opening door on the front. And again, it's going to be straightforward as this is a removable panel. Now on the other side of the build is the other door. So there is still a second entrance into ace chemical plant so i'm going to carry on building up on the mills plate just here 
not sure how far to go on this side as i said because i'm going to probably have rock work so i'll probably just come over by the four studs and and then just leave it and the same again on the front here the waterfront or the pier or the docks front sorry i'm just going to bring it to around about this edge and then once i've worked out what i'm going to be doing on this section then i'll continue to build along that side and this docks area is proving to be such a challenge trying to get everything fitted in here and in the right place has proved to be really really tough i thought ace chemicals that was the right place for it fixed it down permanently there mistake it's it's just something about it it's just not working for me and i want to have the narrows in this section just here or my version of the narrows and i just don't think there's quite enough room here it's, it's not quite big enough if i could come over this way a little bit further or even go back a little bit further that would be really good but i've also got the road coming over here and i can't really push that further that way up towards a race platform anymore so i am pretty much stuck with that but the the back of the falco warehouse where the trucks would be loaded etc that does take up a fair bit of room now I'm beginning to think that I was my original plan of having the Joker's Fun House here is going to be better with a roller coaster going out over to the waterfront there. I've built this temporary structure here just to give myself a better idea of what it's going to look like being up high. And I do quite like it being up high, but I'm not sure whether that high is the, the right way forward. And I've just used the burps there just to hide the multicolour filler brick that's holding it up. And the reason I've gone for that high is so it's above the Ace Chemicals building. Now, if I do the Joker's Funhouse, that will be lower. So... Um, I won't have the rock work up as high. So I am thinking that maybe Ace Chemicals needs to come down this end here. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a think about it. Um, and one thing I will be doing is I am going to make that a floating building. Like I've said all along, I want to do all my buildings. With that one, there is a lot of details on the inside of it. And it's, I was just a little bit worried about destroying the inside of it and i've already got the flat iron to repair and i just couldn't face the potential of damaging yet another building so i've just uh, permanently attached it or well, not permanently but i just left it attached to the base plate now one other thing as well is due to not having that much room back here i am wondering whether to shrink the water again um luckily it is a really quick job to do that so it's not a big deal um, but what I want to do is make sure that there is enough room on here for a boat because I think that's going to look really cool with things being loaded and unloaded uh, on the docks area. So yeah, lots of decisions to make. But I think what I'm going to do over the next sort of like week or two is really plow on into the, the docks area, concentrate on this section just here. Um, I think that'd be really good to get that done. And then I'll start turning my attention to further different parts of the city down this direction but really pleased with what i've managed to get done over the last few days just getting all of the roads mapped out and getting the channels of water that are going in mapped out as well i think that has definitely been the right idea uh, or definitely the right thing to do one other thing i will be doing quite soon as well is getting the raised road put in as well and the slip roads coming down because I haven't allowed for those on the mills plates yet where the roads are going to come down to. Um, so yeah, that is something else I do need to look into getting done pretty soon. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. I hope you've enjoyed the update. If you have, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content on the channel. If you know anybody else you think would be interested in building Gotham, if you could share the channel with them, it would be much appreciated. Anyway, thanks for hopping on by, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.